Are you listening? In this video, we will be taking a look at all the big announcements from the DC Fandom panels. Remember to be sure to subscribe before you watch this video. Like, comment and share this video too. Stick around to the end of the video for all the big announcements from DC Fandom. Before we get into the video, for those of you that love videos about DC and the DCEU, check out our DC playlist. We will leave a link below and in the cards above. A warm welcome to our existing subscribers. If you are new here, welcome. We make videos about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the DC Cinematic Universe and Funko Pops. Let's get started. DC Fandom's first half has come and gone and revealed some spectacular new footage, including from The Batman, Wonder Woman 1984 and the Justice League Snyder Cut. The second part of DC Fandom follows on September 12th, kicking things off Zack Snyder's Justice League trailer. Set to Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah, the trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League finally arrived. The trailer includes a number of entirely new scenes that weren't included in the original version of the film, which was released in 2017. There's no specific release date yet, but Snyder's version of Justice League will hit HBO Max in 2021. It will air in four hour-long installments. Director Matt Reeves and star Robert Pattinson brought the first official trailer for The Batman to fandom. The trailer sets up a Gotham City riddled with crime, with Bruce Wayne trying to figure out his place in it all. There are appearances from Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman, Jeffrey Wright's James Gordon, and more. Gal Gadot is back as Diana Prince, aka Wonder Woman, and Chris Pine is back as Steve Trevor. But the coolest part about the new Wonder Woman 1984 trailer is Kristen Wiig's Cheetah. Although Wiig's Barbara was introduced in the first trailer, this marked the first time we saw her transform into the villainous character. Somewhere, Cats director Tom Hooper is silently cheering. Although we didn't get a full trailer for The Suicide Squad, director James Gunn is in the editing bay, we did get a roll call teaser unveiling the lineup of villains. Plus, a pretty funny behind the scenes featurette does give us a glimpse into the director's sequel. A panel for Andy Muschietti's The Flash was short and sweet, and while there's no teaser just yet, we did get our first look at Barry Allen's new costume. Ezra Miller will reprise the role. We got our first look at Dwayne Johnson in Black Adam as he teamed up with DC Comics' Jim Lee and artist Boss Logic to create a cool concept video for Black Adam. The video gives a glimpse at Johnson in the Black Adam costume. Johnson spent the panel answering questions from fans about how powerful Black Adam is, what drew him to the role. I love that he's an anti-hero and the story he wants to explore. Johnson also teased how certain characters from the Justice Society of America, Hawkman, Doctor Fate, Cyclone, and Atom Smasher will be incorporated into Black Adam. Neil Gaiman's Sandman series is still happening at Netflix, but because of production issues caused by the virus, it's unclear when the series will debut. One interesting note from Gainman, Netflix's version of The Sandman will still start in 1916, but the thing that happens in Sandman 1, the point that the story starts, is not 1988, it's now. This will allow Gaiman and his team to think about what this will do to the gender of characters. What is that going to do to the nature of characters? Gaiman called it a pretty liberating experience. We also got major games reveals in the form of Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Gotham Knights is Warner Bros. Games Montreal's new open-world title. The developers brought a four-minute cinematic trailer introducing the various playable characters, including Batgirl and Robin, alongside gameplay footage. Rocksteady Studios, the team behind Arkham City and Arkham Knight, finally revealed its new game, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, with a lengthy trailer. The title is a new action game starring the infamous supervillain team and is a continuation of the Arkham universe, according to Rocksteady. How that actually plays out remains unclear right now. The game will be launching in 2022 for PC, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. We will leave links to all the trailers in the description. What are your thoughts on the DC Fandom announcements? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We upload videos every Monday and periodically throughout the week. Remember to like, comment and share this video. It really helps the channel, which in turn helps us to make more content for you to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to never miss a video.